With Black Friday and Cyber Monday behind us, a lot of people put a big dent in their holiday shopping. It is probably no surprise. The waste from shopping bags, wrapping paper, and food increases about 25% between Thanksgiving and the New Year. So the question is, what can we do to lessen our impact mm -hmm. on the environment? Brian Stady, the CEO of Environmental Research and Education, joins us with ideas on how to be a little more sustainable. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. All right, let's start with gift wrapping. How can we be a little more eco-friendly? I mean, we can go old school and wrap it in newspaper. Do we have to be that extreme? Well, you know, that's great for fish. Uh, maybe not <laughs> as good for gifts these days. Um, we make about 8,000 tons of wrapping paper around the holiday season, so it is a lot of waste. Um, but, you know, there are a number of ideas and a number of things that one can do. I mean, one, one idea would be, for example, just getting something like a gift box like this. It's beautiful. Um, you don't need wrapping paper and it's reusable. Um, you know, the tip would be don't use the sticky labels like you might use for wrapping paper. Don't put those on because that way someone who you might give that gift to can reuse that. Um, but if you do like wrapping paper, one thing that's interesting is that a lot of the high end wrapping paper is actually less recyclable because it tends to be two layers like a foil mm. and a paper. And that's not as recyclable as your standard uh, less expensive wrapping paper like you might see here that, that has the, this traditional paper with ink on it. That's very recyclable. One tip there, though, is that if you want to add flair and use ribbon for those gifts, um, make sure you take the ribbon off of those gifts before you put that in the recycling bin because th th that ribbon can actually mess up some of the recycling systems, making things less sustainable overall. Did you know that, Dana? Uh, I did not, but I will <laughs> say I tend to save those bows anyway and reuse them over and over. It's a running joke. The in gift them. that keeps on giving. Yeah, it's like, oh, Dana and her bag of bows. But anyway, moving on, you have a gift idea that doesn't even need a box. Why should people consider gifting an experience? Mm. It's a great way to be social with family and friends. I mean, you can you can select an experience, for example, go to a game, uh, buy tickets to a show, uh, take someone out to dinner. It doesn't use any wrapping paper, and it, it also is something that you can create an experience that you can think about and create memories for the future. So that's that's a fantastic option for uh, for the, the uh, environmentally conscious uh, you know gift giver. So Brian, how about keeping it local? Uh, how important? Or, or impactful is buying from your neighborhood shops or stores to help the earth? So buying local is great in the, in the respect that a lot of the items that you might purchase at a local store tend to be sourced more locally. So you have less transport of that material. And so when you purchase it, you know, you're, you're not basically purchasing the mass transit halfway around the world for that gift. Also, a lot of local local companies and shops these days are thinking more eco-conscious. So it's not surprising to see, you'll see something like a carbon neutral gift that would be available as well. When we're thinking about circularity and circular economy, really all about how do we reduce waste and how do we reduce emissions? And how do we reduce emissions? And so these local shops are really on the forefront of that concept. And so in many respects, when you buy a gift these days, even sometimes if it's online, you'll see that there it'll, it'll state that there are carbon neutral options or even that um, you can help the environment by purchasing a certain item over an equivalent item that you might get from, say, a, a bulk store, something like that. You know, Brian, you touched on this already, you know, um, regarding bows and all that, but mm -hmm. some people really like the trimmings on all the presents. So what what is the best thing to do with all those bags and wrapping paper and even maybe the bows mm -hmm. after the holiday's over? Well, you already mentioned re reuse as much as you can, but um, one of the things that to be considered about is that if you are going to use wrapping paper is keep it for another purpose. For example, uh, we do a lot of things with my family at home around a, a, a backdoor fire pit and we need to start that fire with something. So a lot of times we'll save things like wrapping paper as a fire starter and use it that way. Uh, but it can be used for, for rewrapping, repurposing in many different ways. And, and so there are lots of alternative uses if we get creative about how we want to uh, be more eco-friendly in the, on the, the holiday wrapping season. Great ideas. I like to clear all that stuff out immediately. <laughs> so it's just chaos everywhere. So you're saying go green, but don't necessarily be a Grinch. Environmental Research and Education CEO Brian Staley, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you.